you know, there was a quite a special moment when I got back onto the boat and you gave me a hug. It was like safety. Come here, brother. It's as long as you're good, bro. You know, it's obvious that you mean <clears throat> that I care about you. And then uh, that would become close. But it was just, I just needed to, I don't know, I, th I needed to just grab you just to, you know. Yeah. And then also I wanted to clip you around the ears at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton and Ross, particularly after this accident, their bromance went into high Cemented. Care. Yeah, Ross felt bad. Ross felt so bad about it. I think his, because he's a very so. empathetic, compassionate person, yeah. naturally. So I think he put himself in Ashton's situation and was like, as, he took responsibility for it. Yeah. That's what he did. He felt like he was responsible as the boatswain. He f up, you know, he should have, you know, been delegating things properly when in reality he didn't do anything wrong. I don't think he could have prevented the situation, to be honest. However, he took it upon himself to feel responsible for it. It sounds like you guys were close anyway, but do you think that that made you closer? Did it affect your relationship? Or do you think that... Yeah, he's, yeah I think so. I think so. When, when you know that someone could have um, lost his life over that incident, um, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, yeah, it's hard. Sorry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's hard because you're in that moment. Oh, I'm trying to act professional in front of everyone, and um, yeah, you know what? You know what could have happened. No one else. No one else. But Captain Lee knew what could have happened in this incident, and that's why I was based around the boat. Yeah. And that's why we have a special relationship today. <clears throat> Can't even talk, sorry. But um, I don't, I never, I've never showed this emotion towards Ashton. Uh, but it's how I really felt. Up to that point, Ross and I had started, we were developing this friendship. And, um, you know, it's almost like going into a relationship when you're in that honeymoon phase, and then while you're in that honeymoon phase, your partner flipping goes and, and pegs. You like, you get you like, after a while. You know, <laughs> you know you, you're, at, you're at the peak of what you're experiencing, and, and then the sh happens, and it's just like, you know, you're at the peak of, of the feelings. I got emotional when I got back to the boat when, when he hugged me, and I was just. Uh, I hugged him twice. It, it, honestly, it, it honestly just put everything into perspective. Those moments that happen in life, it makes you rethink everything. They definitely became do or dies. They did, like, yeah. After Which is that, cute. and then they're like sharing clothes, and I was like, they're cute. Like they were such a bromance. I was like on the other side of the hall, like, dude, share clothes? That's a thing. <laughs> <You> jealous? <laughs> I was a little jealous. Yeah, yeah. I was a little jealous. <laughs> I see it. I feel it. <laughs> I was really jealous. I was like, I want that. <laughs>
I definitely connected with him on a few levels. He did, though, catch me at a very vulnerable moment. After Kate yelled at me, I was crying, and that's when we first kissed, where he, like, I was able to confide in him. So that is kind of what opened that gate. Planting seeds, watering seeds. Planting more seeds, watering more seeds. <laughs> grow, babies, grow. <laughs>